Hello, 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 and welcome to Conscious Cooking with Conde and me, Liana. Um, so today, this is our very special first episode, and um, the cameraman is making me laugh already. <laughs> so um, basically, what we're going to do today is we're going to do chocolate muffins, and I'm very, very excited uh, to be making this and doing this as my first YouTube video. Um, we plan to do weekly videos with Conde as the chef and me as the assistant. So bring it on. <laughs> To make Condé's incredible chocolate cakes, what you need to do first is to get some turbinado sugar. Um, there's three quarters of a cup here. I don't like to use more than that, but at your own discretion, you can use up to a cup. Um, and what you want to do is get one egg. Please use free range. Um, if you want to use an alternative to egg, there are other products out there if you're vegan. Uh, and what you're gonna do is mix it in like this. Most recipes call for a lot of sugar and I don't like to use a lot of sugar because I don't actually think it's healthy. Um, I do use turbinado sugar. The cameraman is making me laugh again. Um, if you could see what I could see is pulling faces in the background and dancing. And yeah, um, anyway, so turbinado sugar. So what you've got is a nice, light and fluffy mixture with the sugar and the egg. Go on there, what are you doing up there? You're also going to add the soy milk. So then you're going to put this aside. You're going to get yourself another bowl. This is my nice worn out bowl because it's been overused. And you need to mix the flour and the cocoa powder just like that. Get your dry, more dry ingredients, uh, baking soda, baking powder, and some salt. So this makes 12 muffins. Um, there is three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda. There's one teaspoon of baking powder, and there's half a teaspoon of salt. Just mix that in like that. Then you're gonna pour this in here with the egg and the sugar and mix it all together Mix it, mix it, Conde. Conde, what are you doing? I'm doing your dress. <laughs> right, you've got a thick paste, it's very, very thick. And what you want to do is boil some water and have it at the most scalding temperature, but be very, very careful. And the reason I say to use the boiling water is it changes the consistency of the chocolate muffins. It makes them very light and airy. Um, it almost gives it a bubbly texture. It's absolutely delicious and it works wonders. And once you've combined that in with the oil, you really can't go wrong. Good boy. Good boy. I prefer to use organic flour and um, the cocoa powder, I like to use uh, Dutch cocoa powder because I find that it's much more tasty and luxurious. It adds a very chocolatey flavour. Um, generic brands don't tend to have that flavour and the Dutch cocoa powder is very, very rich, very, very creamy and it's a perfect, perfect taste.
I'm gonna be extremely cliched since Condé's on a lunch break and say so this is where the magic happens. Um, so once you've mixed it all together, you're gonna to have a very, very chocolatey, creamy mixture. It should be smooth, no lumps. And what you want to do is carefully, carefully pour it into your muffin trays and it's gonna make 12 muffins. Just do them about three quarters of the way. Don't overfill and it will be perfect. So once you've filled up your muffin trays, you wanna go and pop them in the oven for about 14 minutes, but please check on them as ovens do vary. And once they're in the oven, you've got 14 minutes to dance. You gonna dance, Condé? Dance. So of course Condé is a very experienced chef. Um, he recommends these chocolate chips and these are absolutely amazing. I tell you, they come from heaven. Uh, I'm very, very particular with my chocolate and I have tried just about every single chocolate that there is. Of course Condé can't eat chocolate so do not feed your parrot chocolate. Um, these chocolate chips are organic 42% chocolate chips. They're fair trade and they are certified and they are absolutely delicious. And let me tell you, in this recipe, please, please, please use these as a topping on your muffins. Nothing else will taste as delicious as these fabulous, fabulous chocolate chips. I really, really love them. So once you've melted down your chocolate chips, and um, I like to use about half a bag of chocolate chips, this makes a little bit extra topping, but I usually eat the leftover chocolate anyway. So what you want to do is just get your knife and very, very carefully frost the top of the muffin. And you know, actually, if you decide to keep your muffins in the fridge, it's going to go hard and crunchy and it's actually a very, very nice taste. But you can leave your muffins at room temperature for a day or two. Like I said, this recipe makes 12 muffins, but um, as you can see, there's only 11 muffins because my cameraman stole one. So uh, yeah, anyway, it does make a dozen and they are very, very delicious. So I do hope you try this at home. Um, just a thing to point out, a common misconception is that um, people tend to melt down the chocolate chips directly on the heat. Please don't do this because it will burn the chocolate and it will just destroy the chocolate chips. So uh, heat up a pan of water and then get another pan and put it on top of the on the top of that pan and melt it down like that. Go on, Connie. Good boy. So thank you for watching our first episode, Cooking with Condé, and I hope you make the recipe and you enjoy it. It's absolutely delicious and I'll see you next week. Bye. So I'd like to take this opportunity to thank my friends and family for supporting me in my new adventure. Um, I'd like to say a big huge thank you to my mum who I love with all my heart. She has been so supportive with everything I've ever done throughout my whole life and I love her to bits and I couldn't, I wouldn't be here today without her. And I'd also like to say thank you to Leo Garcia who's right over there off camera and he is a cameraman who's always pulling faces at me and always eating all the food. <laughs> um, I'd also like to say a quick thank you to Jenny Whitson who is one of the best friends in the world that you could possibly have. She's so supportive and I love that about her so thank you Jenny and I'd also like to say a thank you to Mr Michael Ezra for all the support so thank you guys 
So I'm looking directly at the camera, yeah? You are, okay. very unhealthy to do this I'm messing up this shot this is not what I wanted to say because <laughs> I'm repeating it okay just continue to start from the beginning okay let me breathe me... rolling say bye Conde see you later say see you later looks like Conde being shy <laughs> so see you later and